Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Me Doctor Weekly q and I am Hazel from motherhood.com.my Today we will speak to Dr. Tan Cheng, obstetrician and gynecologist from Tongshin Hospital, Kuala Lumpur. Hi Dr. Tan, how are you? Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Tan and I'm from Tongshin Hospital. Alright, let's get right into our question today. Okay. In Malaysia, what is the age that women reach menopause? Well, we, let's go for the definitions of the menopause first then. When you are aged over 45 and if you have no period for the past 12 months, then you are considered as menopause. The range is between 45 to 55 years of age. Mm -hmm. This is providing you are currently not taking any other hormonal tablets, medications such as HRT. What are the early signs of menopause? Could someone before age 45 already experience menopause? Coming to the menopausal symptoms, it, it differs between individuals. Now, majority will complain about vasomotor symptoms, that means they may feel hot flushes, they may feel waves of heat and cause them to sweat uncontrollably even though they are in the air conditioned room. Mm. Some may have some muscular skeletal symptoms which they may complain about joint pain, muscle pain. Some may have changes in their mood, some may find it to be a bit more depressed, more low mood than usual, while some may find themselves to be more irritable than usual. Other symptoms include urogenital symptoms, they may feel some dryness over their genitalia, over the vagina and some may also complain of lower libido, lower sexual desire. Can a woman experience menopause as early as in the middle of 30s? There is such condition known as early menopause. Now, early menopause is also known as premature ovarian insufficiency. That means if a lady is below the age of 40 and if they presented with menopausal symptoms, mm -hmm. Yes, it is possible. And what we normally do is we will arrange a blood test. Now in the blood test, we are looking for a hormone which is known as the FSH. Now if this FSH is high, that means that you are already reaching menopausal stage. And normally we repeat this blood test again around 4 to 6 weeks apart to make sure that it really remains high. Now when this is the case, what we advise is to start this lady on hormonal replacement therapy at least until the age on of the natural menopause. The estrogen, which is the female hormone, is very important for the heart and important for the bone. So if they reach menopause early, that means that this estrogen is going to be much lower than it's supposed to be and therefore we have to replenish them. Is there any medication or supplements that a menopause woman can take? Okay, now it actually depends individually. Let's talk about supplements. When you reach menopause, we know that the estrogen level is low and we generally recommend that the lady that is menopause to take adequate calcium, adequate vitamin D to maintain the bone health. Same thing as well, some may find that the symptom is so unbearable they cannot cope with their daily life. For these women, we actually recommend to start them on hormonal replacement therapy. Hormonal replacement therapy is not without its side effects and it's not suitable for everyone. So we will have to go through the history one by one and see if they have any contraindications with the hormonal replacement therapy. Now for our next question, if a woman's period has stopped, does it mean that she can stop taking contraceptive? She can stop using protection? Let's assume that the woman who is asking this is more than 45 years of age mm -hmm. and she does not have any menses for the past 12 months and she is not currently taking any hormonal tablet medications that may interfere with the menses. Then yes, she is menopause. Once you reach menopause, that means that your fertility age is over and you will not be able to get pregnant and therefore you can stop taking the contraceptive pill. That doesn't mean that they can stop protection, you still should protect yourself. Oh yeah, in terms of getting pregnant, you can stop taking the contraceptives. But in terms of protecting yourself from the sexually transmitted disease, then yes, barrier contraceptives like condom is still required. Now, quite an interesting question here. So, what about men? Do men go through menopause? It's a very interesting question. Now, um, let's talk about women. In women, the ovulation ends, and when that ends, the hormones production will reduce rapidly over a relatively short period of time, which is why we can say that it's between 45 to 55 years of age. For men, it's slightly different. Mm -hmm. For men, the men hormone is known as testosterone. And these levels generally will reduce slowly, gradually as we age. 
Now, low testosterone levels may cause some changes in terms of sexual functions, sleeping pattern, emotional changes, physical changes. But because it's happening over a very long period of time and there's no sudden deterioration, and therefore it's not very clear cut to anyone to say what age the man will be before they hit menopause. If a woman reaches menopause and she do IVF, is it possible that she get pregnant? Okay, now it is possible to get pregnant after menopause with the help of IVF. Now there is actually a case report of the 73 years old mother in India, 73 actually uh, that conceived by IVF. Now as we know that when a lady reaches menopause, that means that the fertility uh, age has ended. That means that there is no more eggs, no more oocytes available. However, you can always get an eggs donor. If you have an egg donor, so you have the partner sperm with the help of IVF, you can still get pregnant. Okay. Is it possible if a woman has period and also have menopause at the same time? Yes, it is possible. So if someone has achieved menopause but she is on a hormonal replacement therapy, the period will continue but it doesn't mean that they will be fertile, it just means that they still have the bleeding every month due to the effect of the hormonal pill. Is it true that if a woman has trouble with her period, will face early menopause? Let's say if she is having premature ovarian insufficient, then yes, she will have trouble with the menses and also she is also reaching the menopause early. But it doesn't mean that everyone who has trouble with their periods will reach a early menopause. Mm. But it doesn't mean everyone will be the same. The same thing as, uh, remember the question just now, premature menopause, mm. that they have the symptoms, they are having uh, menstrual irregularity and the blood test shows that the FSH hormone is high, four to six weeks apart. Yes, that means that they are reaching the premature menopause, but it doesn't mean that everyone with irregular menses will have it. Thank you Gaddaw and another time for answering our questions today. Sign up Gaddaw Plus so that you can make your appointment before a consultation with Dr Tan. Stay tuned for our next weekly Q&A. And remember to submit your question before Thursday and stand a chance to win free 2 years of subscription for Get The Plus and also 10 ringgit motherhood in .my voucher. See you next week! To learn more about pregnancy nutrition, tips for breastfeeding and delivery procedure, check out Motherhood Parent Craft online.